Hi everyone! In this video you're going to learn how to create a piece inspired by the Great Fire of London. For this piece you will need paper, any recycled materials that are red, orange and yellow, black card or a black crayon or marker, scissors and a glue stick. So I've collected my recycled materials. I've got magazine clippings, newspaper clippings, old envelopes, cardboard boxes, any bits that are red, orange and yellow that I can recycle. Can you guess what we're using these for? That's right, all these bits are going to represent the flames of the fire. So we're going to rip all the bits that we've collected into strips. We want long, medium and short strips. Take care with your ripping. Make sure that some of these strips have points. This will represent the top of the flames. Make sure you've got equal amounts of red, orange and yellow strips. This bit is optional. If you have tissue paper, you may choose to use it now. As well as tissue paper, if you have red, orange or yellow card or material that you would like to recycle, now is the time. Okay, let's move all that to one side. Grab your glue stick and start gluing all of the bits onto the page. Be sure to swap between the colours so you don't have the same colour stuck next to itself. The technique of overlapping is really important in this piece. We do this by sticking a piece of material slightly on top of another. By using overlapping we are closing any of the gaps between the flames. Once all of your strips are stuck down, it is now time to move on to the buildings. So it's now time to grab your piece of black card. If you don't have black card, grab yourself a piece of paper, a black marker or a black pencil crayon. Carefully colour in your piece of paper using your marker or your crayon until it's completely filled in. Now you have a piece of black paper that you can use. Now that that's done, it's time to grab your scissors and start cutting your black pieces of paper or card into strips. Cut your strips about a centimetre in width. Because I have black card and the black paper that we created, I'm going to use these both in my piece. Okay, it's now time to create your buildings. I start by sticking a strip down at the very bottom of the piece to represent the land. Now the rest of the black strips are going to represent the wooden structures of the houses. So here I am measuring up for my first house. Keep those scissors handy as you will need them. As you're assembling your buildings, think about the patterns that you want to place on the front. Here are some pictures of buildings that survived the Great Fire of London. As you can see, these buildings tend to have patterns on the front of them. Hopefully these will inspire you in creating your own buildings. So I'm going to add a roof to my first building. I do this by cutting out two small strips and sticking them like a triangle on top. I am now going to add the pattern to the front of my building. I have chosen a crisscross pattern which I have chosen for all of my buildings. You may choose to use different patterns for each building. Now that my first building is complete, I am going to move on to my second. I have decided to make this building slightly shorter than my first building. Playing around with the height of the buildings makes a piece look more interesting. So I encourage you to use long buildings, medium buildings and short buildings too.
As you can see here, I've added a small doorway. Small details like this will bring your piece to life. Once you've added the details to your buildings, your piece is complete. Well done boys and girls.